steaks around here. <laughs> We've had dessert, which is a good thing. Um, but it's really an honor to be here today, and I want to thank Duncan for putting this together and that fabulous uh, video. Um, I value my friends, and it's it's really it's really something I think about when I go to make a movie that that our group, our crew, our actors are all a family, and it's so so great for me to see. Uh, all these friends I've made over the years, and I can still call them friends. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank CinemaCon and, and NATO for this honor to be here today, because this convention is very special to me. I've been coming here to pitch our movies for over 40 years, and I received actually my first ever award as a producer at Show West back in 1982 for Raiders. But that was kind of more of a domestic award, and so I'm really thrilled to be here tonight, or today, to receive the International Filmmaker of the Decade. Because it does celebrate the tremendous growth of the movie-going experience all over the world. And movies have truly become a global entertainment, and that could not have been possible with all, without all of you that are gathered here today. Filmmakers are storytellers, and movie theaters are the campfires that people gather around to be told those stories. I have always felt a spirit of adventure in helping to bring these stories to the audience. Whether the movie makes you laugh or cry, be scared or thrilled, or leaves you in wonder and awe, they are, as Peter Bogdanovich once said, little pieces of time. And the movie theater will always be the best place to enjoy them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although this has all, uh, already been a busy decade for me, I still feel every day the joy of creating something new, of collaboration, of venturing into the unknown to make something worthwhile, with heart and meaning. And that continues to inspire me. I mean, in what other, <clears throat> I mean, in what other job would you get to live here in Las Vegas for six weeks and then shut down the strip so Jason Bourne can demolish dozens of cars while he's chasing the bad guy down the street? I mean, this is a great business. And I've been fortunate in my journey from decade to decade to have worked with so many gifted people. There are mentors and friends who have taught me about film and they have enriched my life. And you saw some of them today. Beginning in the 1970s, I worked with Peter Bogdanovich and Walter Hill. And then moving into the 80s, I began my lifelong and longtime relationship with Steven Spielberg and my wife, Kathy, who I continue to share all these wonderful experiences with, even though she's off running that galaxy far, far away somewhere. <laughs> and the journey continued with so many other talented directors, including Bob Zemeckis, David Fincher, Alex Gibney, and then last year, Colin Trevorrow. But this past year has been an exceptional one for me, a reunion of sorts, working with remarkably talented old friends like Stephen, Kathy, and Melissa Matheson on the BFG, 35 years after we all made ET together, and Paul Greengrass and Matt Damon as we put together the late, latest adventure for Jason Bourne, and Clint Eastwood and Tom Hanks as we told the extraordinary story of Captain Sully Sullenberger and his miracle on the Hudson. And come this summer, I'll be very excited to be delivering these little pieces of time to your theaters around the world. As technology evolves and our lives change because of it, the excitement of movie going remains a significant part of our culture. And regardless of what happens, I believe people will always want to get out of the house and have a good time, a quality cinema experience. And as you invest in your theaters, from digital projection to dine-ins, you consistently enrich those experiences that will continue to delight audience worldwide. Francois Truffaut once said to movie critic Gene Siskel, the most beautiful sight in a movie theater is to walk down to the front Turn around and look at the light from the screen reflected on the upturned faces of the members of the audience. 
and I could not agree more. Because when you're in that packed theater, bustling with energy and the lights go down, and you can feel how full of wonder and excitement everyone is to go on that journey together, that is the magic of movies, and there's nothing else like, like it. It is a privilege to be standing here today, and I am very grateful to all of you for giving me this award and this honor. Thank you very much for coming today, and enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you.